before I get started on the makeup, we're going to start off with the DIY part of this tutorial and to make the lock piece which I'm going to have over my chest, what you need to use is a little bit of Play-Doh and I like using the Play-Doh which you can use again afterwards just because then there's a lot less waste and you can use it again. I'm going to sketch out the shape of the keyhole and um, you can use whatever you want for this. I'm using some stainless steel carving tools but you could use a fork if that's all you have to hand, you could even use something like a toothpick or even an old lolly stick if that's all you have to hand and what you want to do is scrape away the clay around the keyhole and then you're going to create some edges so just roll a little bit of that play-doh in between your fingers create the edges and then what you want to do is squash down the side so that there's a nice clean line you don't want it to have a very odd shape so try and make it as box like as possible and then after that I'm going to be using some nail dotting tools if you don't have these you could use a pen it will have exactly the same effect and you want to start carving out the shape that you want for the lock now it could be something very ornate or it could be something very simple like this which is just a series of swells and of course I'm using the nail dotter for this and then after that what you want to do is just take some latex pour it in and make sure that it gets everywhere if you want to make sure that there aren't any air bubbles trapped in get an old paintbrush that you're not worried about ruining and then run that over the whole surface to make sure that it gets everywhere or you can just leave it like that and wait for it to dry not many people are going to notice if an air bubble gets trapped and then once that's been peeled away, I'm just going to get rid of all the little pieces which might be stuck. Now if this was a thinner piece of latex, what I would normally do is powder it so that it doesn't stick together. But because it's so thick, there isn't really a chance of it doing that. And then after that, I'm going to be painting it with face paints. I'm going to start off with a gold and then I'm going to add a very dark green colour around the edge just because I want to make it look as if there's an old rust or mould which has started to get all over the lock. And then I'm going to use an old paintbrush which is completely destroyed but it's very useful for getting interesting textures. I'm going to put a little bit of silver on those swirls. And now we're going to go ahead and do the makeup. Before I stick it down I want to make sure that I have marked where I want it to sit. So I'm just going to be taking a bright orange eyeliner and then I'm going to be filling in that keyhole shape before going over that with some yellow and some white to make it look like the inside of the lock is glowing. After that I'm going to be putting some prosthetic adhesive on the very back, waiting for it to become sticky before I stick it down. And now what we're going to be using is we're going to be using some packaging peanuts. Now you could ignore this step completely if you want, you could use some latex, you could use some sculpt gel or you could even just paint directly onto your chest and then recreate that wood pattern. But the reason I like this is it's going to create a very easy raised area. And then also when these get wet they get a really interesting texture on the surface that looks exactly like any kind of tree bark or wood which is why I want to use it. And then around the edges once I've stuck that down and I just stuck those down with eyelash glue I'm going to be using some sculpt gel to cover the edges, wait for that to dry and then I'm actually going to use some face paint to cover it. And as you can see on the packaging peanuts they've started to wrinkle and create all these really interesting little textures. Now around that I'm going to keep going beyond where the skull wax is, sorry not the skull wax, the sculpt gel. And then after that I'm going to be using some black face paint and especially around the edge of the lock because I want the centre of the lock to really stand out so I want to make sure that there's quite a contrast between the colours and keep adding more and more of a texture. And then I'm going to go ahead and use some mint green because I want to make it look a little bit mossy. The easiest way to do this is to get a stiff brush load that up with whatever kind of face paint you want and then you want to spray that all over the area and it's going to create a really interesting look to it that it's going to look very natural and organic like it is moss. Now after that we're going to be moving on to the makeup. You've already seen me fill in my eyebrows and do my foundation a million times so I'm just going to skip right ahead to the eye makeup. I've already applied primer and now what you want to do is use a bit of a rusty brown colour. You're going to apply that all over the lid, bring that around the corner a little bit and then I'm going to be blending the edges. Once those edges are blended, I'm going to be using a dark brown colour and I'm going to use that right on the edge where I've already blended out just to have a little bit of a transition colour and also because I really like it when I use more than one colour, it just makes the whole thing a little bit more interesting. But if you want to, you could completely skip that step. After that, I'm going to be taking the same foundation that I used and I'm just going to put that on the very edges of the lips just to get rid of any of the colour that I have there and make more of the colour focused on the centre of the lips. After that I'm going to be using a lip liner which is quite close to my own natural lip colour but if you don't have a lip liner like this you could use a cream blush, you could use a lipstick, whatever you have to hand and you just want to apply that down the centre of the lips before going over it with a bright colour. This one has got a little bit more of an orange tint and that's going to go down the centre and then also on the very edge of the lower lip before I blend that all out and then I'm going to apply some lip balm as well. 
Now, this product is actually meant to be used as a primer, but it works really well as a highlighter. So I'm gonna be applying that down the center of the lid and then blending out the edges with my finger before going ahead and doing some pretty dramatic winged eyeliner. So I'm just gonna create that edge with the winged eyeliner and then connect it all the way into the inner corner. On the lower lid, I'm also going to create a wing, and then afterwards, once I've done the line on both eyes, I'm gonna be moving on to some eyeshadow, and I'm gonna be using an art brush for this just because I find it a little bit easier to get right into the corner of my eye if I use something like that, but you could obviously use a regular makeup brush if that's what you prefer. So once I've used the liner and I've got this as close to the lashes as possible, we're gonna be moving on to the black eyeshadow. I'm gonna start at the outer corner and then try and work that color right into the lashes because afterwards we're going to be using some eyeliner on the waterline and we don't want to have any gaps because it can look really, really messy. So try and get that color right into the lashes before you go ahead and use some eyeliner on the waterline. Now I know it looks like I'm pushing down my eyelids, but I'm actually not. What I'm doing is I'm just taking my fingers and I'm pressing them against the skin so that the lid on the lower lid naturally rolls out instead of tugging it down. And it's a lot more gentle on the skin if you do it that way. Then on the lips, I'm gonna blend the color out a tiny bit more so that it isn't such an obvious doll lip. I'm going to be applying some false lashes. And then on the lips, I'm gonna be taking the same eyeliner that I used previously. And what I want to do is draw something which looks a little bit like ivy or vines growing out of the center of the mouth. You want to take your time with this just because it can be very, very easy to mess up. You can make it heavier or lighter, but I want to have something which is quite simple. And then I'm gonna add some green to the leaves. Alternatively, if you didn't want to use a green, you could use a copper or a gold. But then after that, what you want to do is take some black eyeliner. You're gonna put that down the center of the lips and then blend it out. And the whole point is to make it look as if something is growing from your mouth, but actually causing it to decay at the same time. I'm gonna finish off with some pearl rhinestones in the inner corner and then a green rhinestone as well. And then that's it, and you're done. Don't you